I just feel like, how am I going to do this? Amy Slayton just broke up with her rebound after Michael, but now it looks like she already has a new boyfriend. So who is he? What do we know about him? And is this relationship actually any better than her last one? After Amy and Michael split, Amy started seeing a man named Tony Rogers. The two were together for a while and things seemed kind of serious. Tony met Amy's kids pretty early on and she even let him look after them. But not too long ago, Amy and Tony went their separate ways apparently the relationship just wasn't working. A source told the U.S. Sun that the two of them argued all the time. And supposedly, Tony was difficult to be with. I don't know if that's true, but either way, Amy now seems to be head over heels in love with someone new. But to be honest, I'm not sure if this guy is going to be any easier to be with than Tony. His relationship with Amy already seems pretty insane and questionable. Amy's new boyfriend is named Kevin. He's a TikTok content creator, and he and Amy have been posting about each other a lot lately. She even posted a TikTok of herself gushing about Kevin while intoxicated, which was really crazy because of what she admitted. She said that they'd only had one date and that they were taking things super slow. But is that actually what's happening there? Because it definitely doesn't seem like they're taking it slow. I mean, who goes online and gushes about their partner after one date? That seems pretty fast to me. Plus, they've also been commenting on each other's posts pretty much non-stop. How is that taking it slow? I honestly think that the only reason Amy said that was to get rid of some of the hateful comments she'd been getting. People weren't happy with how quickly she let Tony into her kids' lives. And now that she's dating Kevin, she's supposedly determined to do things differently. She said that Kevin hasn't met her boys yet. And it looks like they might have a deal about not introducing their kids to one another until about a year of dating. Kevin also has kids, but despite what Amy claimed, I don't think they're actually sticking to their deal because someone on Reddit shared this crazy photo. The photo was literally of her, Kevin, and what looked like his kids. So was she just saying all those things about not meeting each other's kids? She's clearly met his kids already. So is this a new rule or was all she said just a lie to get people off her back? Either way, this relationship just seems insanely messy. She's acting like it's different than it was with Tony, but is it actually? And does different mean better? Kevin posts on TikTok a lot. Both he and Amy recently shared a bunch of photos from their second date. They actually took a huge number of photos, which made me wonder if this relationship is even real. They could just be in this for clout, but obviously that's just a theory. Weirdly, I actually think that if that was the case, it would almost be better than them dating for real, which they claim they are, but that just doesn't seem healthy. Amy and Tony didn't break up that long ago, and it looks like Kevin just got out of a relationship too. He recently posted a TikTok about breaking up with his ex. He seemed pretty angry in the short clip. He talked about how she was finally picking up the rest of her stuff from his place. He seemed really happy that this would be her final visit to his property. Obviously, he could have had a good reason to be angry. Maybe their breakup was really bad, but here's the thing. Even if his rant was justified, it still seems to me like it might be too early for him to get into another relationship. He doesn't seem to be over whatever happened between him and his ex. Like I said, he appeared to be really annoyed in his TikTok. So is he even in the right mind space to start a relationship with Amy right now? But trust me guys, this whole thing gets even more bizarre. Kevin honestly seems like a little bit of a dodgy person and his relationship with Amy just seems really odd. Someone on TikTok Talk actually asked him about how he met Amy and he responded by saying can't tell you that sorry but what does that mean why can't he share that with people why is he keeping this a secret that's just so bizarre but it's not the weirdest thing he said on TikTok one of the strangest videos he posted was actually talked about on Reddit too and for good reason. What he said in the eight minute clip was honestly wild. Kevin shared that he recently got a tattoo, but unfortunately it got infected and this affected his life in an unexpected way. Kevin apparently had a big garden as well as some farm animals. And because he got an infection, he couldn't really take care of all of that. So he decided to post about this situation on TikTok. And he said that he was looking for someone to help him out 
around his property. He wanted someone to tend to his garden and feed his animals, but he had some really weird requirements. He said that he was looking for a woman or a non-testosterone male. He basically said that he needed someone without too much testosterone because he had an infection and was trying to heal, and apparently too much testosterone would impact him negatively. Obviously, that makes absolutely no sense at all. How exactly would having a man around impact his infection? Kevin also said that it would be a plus if the person helping him was pretty. He said that this was because he was a sentimental guy and he likes seeing something pretty walking by. That's honestly really creepy. If I was Amy, I would be seriously questioning our relationship. But she didn't seem disturbed by the video at all. She actually commented on the post and she said, I'd love to help you, baby, but it's way too soon. We made a deal. You won't meet my boys for a year. Then she added that it hurt her that she couldn't help him. But honestly, that comment just made no sense since we know that she's already met his kids. Plus again, why was she not bothered by what he said in the video? He literally admitted that he was looking for a pretty woman specifically to help him around the house. On top of all of this, Kevin also said that he would need this person to sign an NDA. He claimed that this was because it would be very obvious what company he owned if the person saw his property. But honestly, that just seems really strange. Why would that matter? Why does he think he's so important that he needs people to sign an NDA when they come over to his house? Honestly, this whole thing just doesn't add up. I'm still not convinced that this relationship isn't actually just a publicity stunt. It would make so much more sense if it was, and it would make me less worried about Amy. I just don't think this guy is for her. But who knows? I could be wrong. I mean, there have already been a bunch of red flags, but at the same time, this is still very early on in their relationship. It's possible that things will improve with time. Maybe we just need to give Kevin a chance, but I don't know. Something definitely feels weird about this, but what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on Amy and Kevin's relationship? Do you think it'll last? Let me know in the comments below.